Bismillahirrahmanirrahim. Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh. In this video, I explain to you one of the application of dot product in vector, which is vector projection. All right, let's see here. You have two vectors, vector v and vector w. We want to focus on this vector v here. What we want to do is we want to decompose v into two components, which are the x component and also the y component. You also have learned this in physics, right? Where you can decompose a vector into two components like this. Okay, so let's rename the x component as v1 and rename the y component as v2. Now let's focus for this v2 here. We can bring v2 to be here because this have the same magnitude and also the same direction so let's bring v2 here we can see now that your v1 here is parallel to your w while v2 here is perpendicular to your w all right moving on let's see here the summarize of what we have done just now which is vector v can be decomposed into v1 and v2 such that v1 is parallel to w this is your v1 here is parallel to your w and then this is your v2 here which is it is perpendicular to your w let's focus on your v1 here v1 is actually your projection projection of v onto w so let's say you have a projector here and then you have the lights of projector here so this v1 will be projection of v onto w so how about your v2 now we can see that we can build an equation here v is equal to v1 plus v2 because this is going to this direction and v2 is going to this direction so it will become v so we can rewrite v is equal to v1 plus v2 so v1 is actually your projection just now this is your projection therefore we can rearrange the formula v2 is equal to v minus your projection this is what we have here all right now let's move on with the formula of projection just now we already know the formula of v2 so now let's focus on your formula of v1 so this is your formula projection of v onto w it is v dot w over magnitude w squared and then multiply with vector w. So the result of this projection will be a vector. 